Hello everyone. Uh, let me hope you're doing well. Uh, this is the first of the current electricity series for the tutorials that I'll be making here. And so I request you to follow through. You can have a notebook with you. Um, you have a pen, you have a ruler, calculator, because we shall have many calculations. And please enjoy. I am your host, Monday Dennis, the physics teacher, Sarah Makrishan High School in Uganda, East Africa. We know very well that electricity is divided into two branches. We have electrostatics, or what we call static electricity, which deals with the study of charges at rest. The word static basically means that uh, this, the charges are at rest. Uh, we have current electricity, which it deals with the study of charges in motion, and the moving charges are always the electrons that move through the conductors. Now, we are going to go into the details of current electricity, because we have already covered electrostatics. For now, we shall look at the current electricity. And the terms that we shall use, we will have the charges or the charge. We have current electric current, or what we call just current. We have potential difference, electromotive force, EMF. The two are generally called voltage. And we have electric resistance or electrical resistance either way. Now, we want to look at the charge. What is an electric, electric charge? What is an electric charge? The symbol for a charge is Q. So, charge is a quantity of electricity flowing from one point to another in a circuit. Now, the SI unit of charge is a column abbreviated by capital C. So, you abbreviate it as capital C, a column. We shall later find out the definition of a column. Then, current, or what we call electric current, whose symbol is I, capital I. You write it in this style. Electric current is basically the ratio of the charge to the time. So, in simple terms, the electric current or what we call current is a rate of flow of charge in a circuit you get the charge divided by the time and that is i is equal to q over t so this implies that if you cross multiply definitely i and the t if you multiply the two you'll have q is equal to i t and the s int of current is the ampere abbreviated by capital A after Andre Ampere or Ampere. Now to measure electric currents there is a special instrument which we call I think you know it. Yeah, it's called an ammeter. I guess you get you guessed it right. And to detect the flow of an electric current, we are saying to detect detecting the flow. To detect the flow of an electric current, we use an instrument called a galvanometer. A galvanometer just detects. Just takes it doesn't measure but just detects. To measure small electric currents we always use a milliameter. And the milliameter measures electric current in milliampers. Okay. Now what is a column which is the unit of charge? A column is a quantity of electri electricity which passes any point in a circuit in one second when a steady current of one ampere is flowing. Uh, Q is equal to IT. If Q is equal to IT, where Q is the charge, I is the electric current, and T is the time. So, when do you get one column? When will you have one column? The amount of current should be one ampere, and remember it has to be steady, and the time taken should be one second. <coughs> Put all the quantities here. Put all the quantities here in the SI unit. So to get one column, a column means one column. You shall have current of one ampere and the time of one second. So we say a column, a column is the quantity of electricity which passes any point in a circuit in one second when a steady current of one ampere is flowing. So that's how we get a definition of that. Potential difference, which we call PD and the symbol is V. 
Remember, V is a symbol for potential difference and is the symbol for voltage. And voltage is general for potential difference and EMF. We shall look at EMF later. Potential difference is the work done in moving one column of charge from one point to another in a circuit. So if you move one column of charge from point A to point B, you move one column of charge. One column of charge. So the work which is done in moving one column of charge from one point to another in a circuit is what we call the potential difference. Potential difference between these two points. That means this point is at a potential, this one may be at a potential, a potential one, and this one will be at another potential, potential, potential two. So there is a difference in the potentials. But by definition, we say potential difference is the work done in moving one column of charge from one point to another in a circuit. Now, we are saying, if you look at this, PD is, if it's, if it's the work done in moving one column of charge from one point to another, by formula, have PD is equal to work done over the charge. You get the work done over the charge. In simple terms, PD, the PD is the, is the V, um, let me erase this, please. Um, okay, 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 okay. The PD is the V. The work done, which is an expression of the energy expended, is the W and Q is the charge. So if you simply just write in other words, W is equal to QV. But remember, the Q is equal to IT, the quantity of electricity, um, the quantity of charge here, the charge, which is the quantity of electricity, is always the same as current times the time. So we realize here that W is the energy expended. I told you that already, that the work done is always equivalent to the energy used. So the S int of PD is a volt. We shall find out the definition of a volt later. And the instrument used to measure voltage or potential difference and OEMF is called, can you guess that? It's called a voltmeter. That is right. So what's the definition of a volt? What is a volt as a unit of voltage? A volt is a potential difference between two points in a circuit. When one joule of work is done in transferring one column of electricity from one point to another. I will take you back to just what we did before. Um, we said that V is equal to W over Q. So the question is, when do I get one volt? The work done should be one joule and the charge should be one column. Now we are saying that a volt, a volt is the potential difference between two points in a circuit. When one joule of work is done in transferring one column of electricity from one point to the other from one point to the other please look at that so the quantity of electricity here remember is in charges is, is uh, the charges are measured in in columns and then the work is in joules now to get one volt we are saying divide one joule divide by one column you get the one volt okay now what is electrical resistance as one of the terms electrical resistance is the is basically the opposition the flow of current in a circuit and the devices which oppose the flow of electric current are called electrical resistors the s int of resistance is the ohm ohm so the Greek letter for ohm is this. Um, note, radios and televisions contain very many resistors of resistances ranging from a few ohms to millions of ohms. 
Uh, we will look at the details and even some diagrams of the resistors, uh, the images that you can look at to understand what they are. I know you've seen them before in radios and other electronic devices. Uh, probably didn't know they, they, are, they are the resistors. We shall have the time to look at resistors in details. So some of, re some of the resistors are made from carbon or graphite, while others are in the form of wire winding. So you get thin wires and you wind them, you get resistors. Now, applications of electrical resistances. We have uh, when you need to reduce voltage across any device or you want to reduce the amount of current flowing, maybe through a certain electrical electronic device, you will always need a resistor to help you do that. And you can use it to convert electrical energy into other forms of energy. For example, heat. Um, this is applied actually, like for the filament bulbs. The filaments are very thin and they have high electrical resistance so that they can convert the electrical energy into heat. And the heat is what now, when the heat is produced, the wire now glows red hot, white hot, and then we get the light. So just a few examples for us here to remember. Um, example number one says, I think, let me just have all these here. Calculate the quantity of charge flowing when a current of two amperes passes a point in a circuit in four seconds. Basically, charge is IT, get the current, which is two amperes times the time, four seconds, you get eight columns. And number two, calculate the current flowing through uh, a circuit when 10 columns of charge flows in a minute. So the quantity of charge flowing here is 10 columns and the time is one minute, which is 60 seconds. You know, current is Q over T. Yeah. So get the charge, 10, divided by the time, 60. And the answer is 0 0.17 amperes. So I want you to try this out. A charge of 200 columns is trans transferred between two points in two minutes. The potential difference between the two points is 10 volts. <coughs> Calculate the arm, Roman 1, or part A, current flowing, and part B, the work done, or the energy expended too. 